Hey folks, <laughs> I was settling in for a long night and we had a horde spawn and show up. I'm going to drive away a little bit and see how big it is. And then we might fight some. Spawns, I'm sure. How are they? All right, so we're at the purge. Um, I wasn't going to do any night questing or night purging or whatever because I don't have a headlight yet. Um, I did take a bit of damage there though. So we're gonna have to, uh, we'll get back and kind of see how the base is set up. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, I don't have the uh, antibiotic type things. I think some kind of got stuck in the building when I first... Yeah, there's a bit of them there. I do have vitamin, I should really make sure to take it as soon as I get off the bike. Should have done that in the beginning. Alright, let's see, tab. Use. That's a perfectly good argument to have the uh, health bars on. I couldn't see him, it was dark. And I only knew I had it on him because I saw the health bar. Of course, I didn't get any of the ammo music. Oh, maybe I did. Maybe it just went to that bar. Okay, now I need my bike. Where's my bike? <laughs> so, that escape from the second floor is absolutely worth it. Uh, we still have somebody coming. Okay. On the bright side, we got level one in our batons. Uh, 
I'll spawn on my bed. Crouch. Now I spawn with my toolbar. I'm not a. Now this is uh, to the airdrop. It does not kill count those hordes. It only counts zombies in POIs. They spawned in the POI. Now if I do that. We're up to 14. I forget what we needed. Oh, look. Oh, that's that. Okay. I, sh I had an instant thought of, oh, the that's the experience bar. <laughs> I'm just an idiot sometimes. Now I can put, pick these up and put them down upstairs and they'd probably work for storage, but... One set of them's enough. I wasn't... I was kind of like mixed on this building. I kind of thought it was sturdy enough to kind of get through the beginning, but I didn't think I'd stay here. But this building seems to be... Uh, I mean, it's only... cobblestone, but... The only things they have to break are the doors to get to me, so they don't worry about beating on the building. Got a second floor, you can jump off the second floor and not get hurt. It's kind of a good building. This may be like one of those... I wish I knew it was this good before. So we've got, I think the, uh, the horde kind of despawns after you die, so. At some point I'll probably put a pole right there, you know, a single block pole, just to reinforce that corner. I won't worry about the holes. I'm not going to be able to fill them all in. And if you fill them all in, somebody's going to break them anyway. Did I empty this out? Yeah, I did. So we're just going to do a little cleaning up. Um, some of these trees. I think I'm, I'm I think I'm enjoying this. I, I've been kind of wondering why this is seems so much fun and I keep dying and having a horrible events with it. But I think it reminds me um, of Undead Legacy. I was thinking about that the other day. A lot of the tables and you know that whole how things work reminds me of Undead Legacy. So, uh, my goal for today is I think I want to get a, uh, we want to find a forge. I'm not sure. It's been like 
four or five days since I played this. I want to say, I don't know, I'll have to look on the web and I recorded them and then the next day I uploaded them. So there's a few, there's, it's, I think it was like Tuesday maybe that I recorded these. And today is, it's now Saturday night. I'm, uh, so I kind of don't remember some stuff. Like if I look at this map, I know I did this building, I knew I did this building. And it was another couple of buildings I did. Oh, there's the gas station that we tr that we thought about staying in at the beginning. And then there's this. Why didn't I clear that? There's four vending machines in there. Okay. Oh, you know what? That's what we'll do. Let's go back there. I'll start wrenching some stuff. I'll get rid of all this first. The best part about this is... Close enough for just about everything. Bad part is I can't see bears. <laughs> oh, I want to go all the way to the end. Okay. That makes life easier. And that's something for burning barrels. We're going to have to do that. You can set burning barrels up at intersections so you can kind of go, okay, yeah, this is where... <laughs> now, I saw somebody putting stuff in the street, and it was all a good idea until a horde came along and destroyed the container and everything, and it was gone. And it was the beginning of her playthrough, so it really didn't matter much. But it kind of mattered a lot, because it was the beginning of the playthrough, and you have the least amount of stuff, and everything is more important than it, than... <laughs> Ooh, this is not the end of the street, I think. I think I gotta go another block or so. trying to have a little bit of a hurried pace, so if there is a bear, I've got some momentum. <laughs> okay, the four vending machines was in this one. And you know what? We can wrench the car down too. Now I was looking at building a turret and I need a workbench for that so that's not going to happen anytime soon. Turn the steel in that I had. Okay. I was like, I thought I had steel already. And I know the total is the number that's in the brackets on the side that we're dropping the stuff, but. spring cell for a lot or not. But we definitely need more electrical parts, so that's good. I think I'm going to stop at two of these. Because I don't want to get... Ooh. That's good. Small motor, right? I don't remember what they're used for, but... 
I know you need them for stuff. Now, have we done this place? No, we have not. Alright, we're not going to wrench. We're just going to clean the place out. Ooh. I'm not going to do this. Not just yet. And I took damage from the stupid thing falling on top of me. <sighs> oh yeah, it's still nighttime. You shouldn't be running around here, buddy. In fact, the uh, aura seems to work with the pistol as well. Now we got a few more coming. They're just going to come down this ladder here. get a bird. There's the bird. Oh, and that was it. Sweetness. We're going to do this to get some feathers because, you know, at some point we're going to want to and metal, that's good. Not going to take and stand there and do that, that's for sure. That preacher gloves? Well, I don't think the preacher set is the same as the preacher set in the regular game. More handlebars, another small engine. Unexcited. This is like the third or fourth small engine I have. At first one I was really happy. <laughs> Come on. Oh, wait, do I want to jump off this? I forgot. Yeah, I think I do. Ooh, that was an ambo. That's good. I don't know if I have one, so we're just going to take it anyway. Oh, this is annoying.
Dexterity is now level one. Oh! Dexterity. Oh. There we go. Okay, there is stuff here I should probably loot, but you know what? I think it's... Um, let me see what we got here. What do we learn? Farmer gloves? Yeah, I think we're going to put these on. Oh, these are... Oh, yeah, preacher gloves are medium. We're definitely going to change to those. Modify. Take that off. Modify. Put that on. Put this on. And then we're going to complete it. And where? Come on. Where? Because we're going to keep the farmer stuff, but I kind of don't want to damage it either because I want it to, <coughs> to be good for when I uh, start planting crops. And I have to say, Furious Ramsey. You capture Dawn a lot better than the regular game. I mean, if you've ever been up at, you know, 3, 4 in the morning, it's that... It's still eerie, dark kind of look outside. And that's the kind of detail that makes me kind of go, wow, there's a lot more thought in this. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the game. I love the vanilla game. The vanilla game's fine. But I look at Seven Days to Die like, like a game engine. You can just plug stuff into it as they, you know, as people develop these mods and overhauls. I'm mapping. So I kind of know what, what is where. So when it gets to the point where we can do tier 3s without getting slaughtered easily, I'll know where to go. This is, I think, a tier 5 or 6. I think this is a tier zero. Yeah, it actually has a couple people in it. Let me dump some stuff in here. Go in here. Oh, we already have stuff in here. Let me throw more stuff in there. Actually, I'm gonna feathers back. I'm gonna put that in there. Sort, sort of a little more a robe over weight. <laughs> Two people are usually above. saw blades and pliers. I don't know if I've made the pliers. I have to confess I've played like the first three days like on almost every character class because I was kind of like trying to feel it out and see what's 
see what I like and see what I didn't like. So it's co it's costing me now because I'm trying to remember. I, I don't have a screwdriver, do I? No, I don't have a screwdriver, so I can't make the. Okay, so. Oh wait, that's we didn't clear this place. <sighs> hmm. There he is. Nice thing about snakes, they only have like five hit points and just about anything will kill them. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna hit here and here. This is a collapsed gas station. I think we might have already done it. I'm not sure. It doesn't have the check mark because I think it, it's a rim. I don't know. We'll check it. But there's the auto parts store across the street. Because we need... Wait a minute. Am I on the right street? I'm a little further up than I thought. Oh, there's two car places down the street, too. Okay, so I can just go... Bink. That is so completely wonderful. I'm gonna take all this and I'm gonna go. And now I can move freely right up. I'm gonna dump off the anvil and other such things. Now I did find a nice place for the toolbox right on top of that barrel. I need a hammer to go with that screwdriver. Okay, so we have the screwdriver, we have a hammer, throw a flashlight in there, put that in there, put that in there, those I intend on selling. Crap. Yep, that unlocks. Ooh. Wrench. I can only make level one. All right, fair enough. Um, I'm gonna put the glass in here because I kind of think I'll be able to use the glass to make things in the forge. That's that stuff. Okay, good enough. Now a forge, where am I going to find that? I'm thinking a farmhouse or that kind of a place. Tier 1, here's a tier 1 here.
Let's um make that our red flag. It will go there first. Can't resist. Reload. Come on. I'm thinking it's going to be boars. I guess it could be snakes. Got me good. Oh, I don't have any. I don't have any bandages. <laughs> okay. That was just being dumb on my mo. I mean, I'm sure I have plenty of cloth back though. Yeah, let's go to the base. Back. To cloth. This is weird. That's the stuff to grind up. That's that. The seeds and stuff. This is this. That's all that. Oh yeah, I got plenty of cloth. Here, we'll leave one in there for seed. Just make ten. Now I saw. Where did I see that aloe cream? Because that shouldn't be there. That should be up here. We're just gonna put one in there for Oh, I could have just done oh yeah. Okay. Hope this other one is still here. It is. Yup, that was me doing an easy one, remember? Okay, so let's find a forge.
I don't know. Wait. Oh, that's shops. Okay. Cheap ammo, cheaper ammo. Because I can fire it faster. short like a mini bike wheel or something <laughs> maybe we're short more than that but it just seems like there's something I remember something about mini bike wheels Thirteen, huh? Sometimes I wonder about the numbers, but it's probably like maximum. Figure out the way I'm supposed to go here. Oh, here we go. Oh, 
That might help. Not a good situation. She's healing her. Yeah, he's healed. I gotta kill her first somehow. Can I see her? Where'd she go? That's a lot of healing. Here, let me see if I can get him over. I'll get him on the other side. Then maybe I can get him stuck on a building or something. here knock him down and then run the maze back to her because they can heal everybody else they can't heal themselves and some zombies can open doors so in a stupid corner. Those other bandages down. I'm gonna need them. Oh, I put them over here. Oh, I got food break down the bar. I'm 
And we'll put the empty glasses on the bucket. Lead trophy. Pipes. Good thing here is I can come out and drop some stuff. Makes me quite a bit lighter. Is it only you? Nope, there's one there. And there's one there, okay. Both pretty slow. That's the sound we like. Looks like a big ammo pile there. Okay, that was a mistake somehow. There we go, we're set. There's all kinds of stuff here to sell. Kind of feeling a little overloaded. Again, just a little map marking. That, and that's fine. Allows us to keep working. Um, speaking of working, let's find a working stiff store. I don't think there's a forge in those, but 
might get lock picks and stuff like that that we could use. I think this gas station was tier three, wasn't it? Pretty sure it is. Oh, tier four. Good dear God. Carl's Cars. Okay, we'll do that. We'll open this up. Because it's 50, 50 bucks. Oh, I didn't want to pick that up. I wanted to avoid that bear. Holy crap. He saw me. I'm not sure if he's still following me, but... Baker and Son, if I remember right, from Vanilla, I think there's like a secret underground something or other, like it's a mob place or something. Right, right they're trying to make it like it's a, a mobster's hangout. Take that. So, if you're wondering about the umbrellas, it's it's a one hit. You get like one cloth, but I do one before I go in and one when I come out. So, if I don't finish one, there's only one done. It's kind of just a way of keeping track because there are so many of these scattered about the map. This is a locked one. So, the police cars, it seems to be like there's unlocked ones and locked ones. So we definitely want to look... Wait. Is this another Tier 4 gas station? Holy cow. I really wish it would uh, record the number when you're just riding on your bike. I'm gonna go in here. This is a pretty quickie. I know there's no forge in here, but it is quick. There's a food box inside. School frame. I, 
really should wrench something. Get some pipes, because guess what's going to happen? Oh, and now that item needs repair. Great. Let's just go to Fire Axe. That worked. Uh, repair, it says I don't have pipe, yeah. Give me wood. One of those stupid things you get everywhere. Jeez, I'm like thinking I'm gonna use that. I do have duct tape, so I can fix this. This is a real radiator wood that you can use to repair something, okay. <gasps> it's a repairable police car. It now has a radiator in it. <laughs> The horde just spawned in. Where's the bicycle? There it is. Me with no weapons. I'm gonna go down the street a bit. I just wanna kinda see what else is down here. What is this called? Oh, roosters. I guess it's supposed to be like hooters, except it's called roosters. That's awesome. Oh, 
here's a tier one gas station. Yeah, we'll have to come back to this place. <laughs> the TGIF, well, oh fuck, it's Monday. That's funny. Meltdowns and some McDonald's. Oh, and there's a re. There's the hardware store I was looking for. Of course, it's tier three. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've already done this place. This is where the cutlass was. Yeah. Let me mark the cutlass before I forget. I used to own a cutlass when I was when I was a youngster. Did like that car. I think I'm gonna call it. We're just gonna get back, gonna put our things away, eat some food, cook some food, kinda get ourselves ready. I think we avoided the horde for the night. And we've avoided bears, but the boars killed us. Oh, and we did learn a lesson about undead auras, didn't we? So, folks, I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to let's check this out. Pull these in. And we'll have you. See you the next time.